In a world where young people yearn for a better quality of life and are saying in the future, the MEAT project emerged as a beacon of hope in three coastal counties of Kenya. This documentary takes you on a journey of empowering youth, fostering inclusivity, and promoting democratic participation. The promulgation of Kenya's constitution in 2010 brought decentralization reforms, but youth inclusion in decision making remained limited. Recognizing this gap, the MID project was launched in 2021 to address the missed potential and ensure peaceful youth inclusion in political processes. Article 38 of the Kenyan constitution, both section 1, 2 and 3, give a right to any Kenyan citizen who have attained the age of 18 to participate in political processes. One, by being registered as a voter. Two, participating in election, election by secret ballot. And three, joining any political party of their will. It is on this basis that this project came to ensure that we mobilize, empower, actualize and transform young people to ensure that they meaningfully and actively participate in electoral processes. During the implementation phase, the MIT project engaged and empowered youth through various activities that included, but not limited to, community forums, intergenerational dialogues, and aspirant sensitization meetings, creating and enabling spaces for meaningful engagement. These activities fostered open discussions, allowing the youth to voice their concerns, aspirations, and ideas for a better future. The project aims to equip youth with knowledge about democratic, political, and electoral processes. As a TOT, uh, our role was to do civic education uh, in the community. Uh, and the civic education, we were mainly focusing on empowering the community, uh, mostly youth and uh, women, uh, and also the youth leaders who are participating in political spaces, or rather who are vying for political seats. Uh, we were engaging the entire community so that we can empower one another, or rather we can share and converse information on how we can engage in peaceful electoral processes uh, before elections, during the elections, and after elections. Uh, kama civic educator, I had a chance to come and come to the next one. We had a chance to come to the next one. Maswala za kisiasa kama kupiga kura ni jinsi gani unaweza pata uh, kura yako ni vipi unafaa kupiga kura ni vipi unafaa ufanye zile politics zako uh, ili usi ujilinde wewe mwenyewe na usidhuru uh, mwenzako majirani yako uh, pia katika humradi tuliweza kukutana na wale leaders local leaders political leaders wetu ambao tuliweza ku yani it's like to li, kwa closer to them we got to understand them better as compared to earlier on I want to appreciate the uh, stretchers under the program of MEET, which they engage youths, myself included, at the world level, at the constituents level, where youths came together to discuss their inclusion in the governance structure of the Republic of Kenya, uh, noting that we were heading to the general election of that time. Uh, MEET as a program came in, brought in youths, whereby we were taken through the, 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 the governance issue and how youths can be involved in making the political decisions that was awaiting them. I have sat in various spaces where I never thought I would. Um, and because, you know, sometimes you don't see it, not because the spaces are not there, but because you feel as an individual, you're not capable to deliver as full expected. But with an understanding of such platform like Meet Project, you're able now to deliver and give out and critically analyze what is happening within our community. Muradu wa Meet ulipoanza, ulitusaidia kwa sababu zile hamasa ambazo tulizifanya kwa jamii na upande wa vijana e, zilisaidia kabla ya uchaguzi na wakati wa uchaguzi na baada ya uchaguzi 
Kwa hivyo mimi binafsi ningesema humrad wa mit mwanzo ulini empower ulinipa ile kujiamini kwamba ninao uwezo wa kukusanya wenzangu na kuongea nao kuhusu maswala ya amani na ya maendeleo kwa jumla My name is Yusuf Sengeza uh, honorable I'm the MCA for Mkongani Ward in Kwale County It's my first my, my first term uh, my first trial as well I uh, thank the constituents for that um, I would like to thank also the mid project because the, just before the elections um, it came to do a project a program in our in my ward I was involved and uh, actually it was a good uh, start prepared me well with the youth because uh, from the beginning uh, I was looking at the youth as the potential uh, voters and uh, before the elections uh, after I met uh, with the, the, the meat project or program it gave me uh, more power and uh, energy to go for the for the post it was a bit challenging because uh, I was uh, competing with a, a veteran, somebody who had been, who was there for 10 years, and mine was a, a first uh, trial, so I was a bit nervous before I met uh, this meet uh, program. But uh, when they came and uh, I, they talked to us with the youth uh, on the ground, it really gave me a lot of energy to start and uh, uh, remove all the fears. I was introduced to MIT in 2021 in my different capacity. Uh, we welcomed it as a county with a lot of joy because we knew this is the right time to be able to mobilize different youth from different uh, sub-counties to ensure that we empower them to, for us to be able to minimize these vices that are going on in the, in the community. There were issues uh, where uh, we had even conflicts in the community when uh, we had raised numbers of uh, border border riders as young people. Uh, people were not feeling very safe with border border riders who are mostly young people. So there were, was a conflict between the old uh, generation and the young people. So MEET has uh, brought uh, youth together with the other generation in, the, in our counties because uh, we have been able through this uh, project to bring them to uh, our, our boardrooms or to follow them in the community with empowering uh, messages to be able to uh, know where is the issue and the big gap that we realized the youth were feeling detached, left out. They were not participating in whatever the government was coming up so they were trying to rebel. Through it, we were able to uh, sensitize them on the uh, matters of uh, formulation of uh, frameworks, policies in the county and at national level. In conjunction with the uh, uh, stretchers team, we organized uh, a sports day within Changamo sub county that involved police officers and members of the public where we brought youth from different organizations and companies and we had uh, a day with full of uh, sports activities where the youth and the police competed in different sports activities and uh, basically this was to bring the youth closer to the police this was actually before the elections and we were preaching peace before, during and after the elections. Katika shirika la stretchers, nataka ni washukuru kwa kunialika mkutano katika boardroom ya DCC. Hiyo ilinijenga mimi uwezo wakuweza kuongea na DCC karibu na kunipatia nafasi ya vijana katika community. Sasa hivi mimi ni kijana kule ni youth activista ambaye sasa wananisikiza wale vijana nikienda kule nikiwaambia kama niko na information nimeitoa 
mahali fulani wananisikiza na pia DCC akiweka baraza zake pamoja na machief wananitambulisha kama hivi leo nimekuwa na mkutano wa energy plan na ulikuwa unaalikwa sana sana na ward admin na kupitia hiyo stretchers na wao uunganishaji wa DCC na hizo hizo security departments zimenifanya mpaka leo nimekuja kwa mkutano wa energy plan na nikatoa mapendekezo yangu na nikienda nyanjani nitaketisha vijana wangu na wamama na wababa niwaeleze mambo ya energy na tutafanya kazi pamoja kwa sababu ya huo umoja ambao tulipatanishwa nao I was able to travel um, for a fellowship program called Community Exchange Program by the State Department of the US, where we delved more in the US for three months and looked at and issues and uh, civic space within the US, how it's conducted, how it looks like, and what can we adopt within our space. And for me, that was an eye opening because I saw young women like myself actively involving themselves within such spaces. We, we, I saw a 25 year old elected as a senator in Minnesota. And not just a 25 year old, someone from East Africa because she was Somali. Um, so a Muslim one of that matter. So you see the aspect of inclusion, and people there were looking at ideology. And like here, it's very hard for young people, most so young women, to actively participate. And not because they are pushed back, but because they don't know the magnitude or the importance of them raising their voice, asking critical questions, and ensuring that they, the environment changes, but not just for them, but the upcoming generations. As uh, so well, we are growing old, and those that were of the same age as us years back are now way older. So this is actually, it has a ripple effect and changes a lot in the society to actively participate. Um, that was one of my biggest highlights for last year, uh, especially having interacted within the civic space and understanding and knowing and going to see the intersectionality of so many things uh, that we tend to overlook or tend not to involve ourselves in. Uh, when the, the team came to Mkongani, they actually gave the youth also more energy to uh, fight for their own. I'm not a youth as such, but they took me as their uh, own because I was relating well with them. And uh, it also gave even more energy to many of them, uh, saying that uh, after Sengeza, then one of them will uh, come up and uh, stand for the for the post eh baadhi ya wale officers wa serikali walikuwa hawajajua eh wananchi wana shida gani na ulileta wananchi pamoja na wale viongozi pia pamoja alafu pia ulinipatia opportunity ama fursa ya kujuana na watu wengi zaidi wengine zaidi ambao nilikuwa sijawajua na mbali na hivyo katika wale ambao niliwajua pia niliweza ku kushikanishwa na hata e, mashirika mengine idara nyingine za serikali ambazo pia hata mradi wa miti sasa hivi unaelekea kuisha lakini kuna vitu vinaendelea na ni sababu ya ya huo mradi wa miti and I want really to appreciate the organizers of that program because we were able to come together as youth reason together and find our space how will we have participated in that election by ensuring that there is peace, by ensuring that the youths in our areas or in this country are not used for political gains, they are not misused for the for the for the political class that have always used youths to pursue their interests. And I think out of it, we were able to realize that the 2022 general election was the only election where youths were fully engaged, where youths were able to understand their roles, and where youths maintained peace because we can attest that there is no post-election violence out of it. When we are doing our CIDP uh, through uh, MEET and other projects, we are able to bring youth together to tell them this is when the budget starts and this is when the budget stops and this is where you can give your views and this is where you can review whether your views were put in that budget or not. So this has, has really, really brought a lot of uh, synergies, a lot of uh, peace in the youth because now they accept projects, programs in the county and their issues are mainstreamed in all the departments. 
because now they are able to tell even if it's roads, even if it is water, what are our issues around water, around agriculture, around ICT, around health. So them seeing that, uh, okay, our voices are now being heard, at least we are able to like relate with whatever the county government and other organizations are, are doing. We had a peaceful election. There were no engagements or forms of any form of violence within Changamwe sub-county. We didn't have the governor's elections during the, the same period. It was carried on later on. So even during that period, it was all peaceful within Changamwe sub-county. There were no reports or any incidences of uh, insecurity. If something is going to touch on like my life as a whole, I I need to be engaged. I need to participate in this. I need to uh, to be among the people to contribute in the decision making. So that's why I went to vote because I felt like I need to vote for the be for the good leaders, for the best ones, people who are going to fight for our rights, people who are going to table our concerns so that um see mimi pekiangu pia na watu watu wengine. Basically, we were trying to bring the community uh, in a conversation table whereby we can now converse and share uh, the importance of having uh, and involving ourselves in meaningful political processes and uh, that would result into good leaders who will drive the agendas of development in our counties. As our journey with the MAID project comes to a close, we would like to express our deepest gratitude to Voice Global for their invaluable support in funding the MAID project under the theme Space for Political Participation through the Influencing Grant. Your belief in the power of youth and women engagement and inclusive governance has allowed us to create meaningful change and provide a platform for youth and women voices to be heard. We would also like to express our deepest appreciation to all the right holders, community leaders, stakeholders, partners, and every SYO staff who contributed their resources, time, energy, and ideas to make the MIT project a success. Together, we have made significant strides towards building a more inclusive society and shaping the future of our nation. We leave you with a powerful parting shot, an enduring testament to the resilience, courage, and unwavering power of youth. For us, the MED project is more than just a project. It's a movement, a catalyst for change, and a driving force behind inclusive governance. It stands as a symbol of hope, demonstrating that when we invest in the potential of our youth and women, we ignite a brighter future for all. Let the spirit of MIT project continue to inspire us on. Let us embrace the lessons learned, the connections made, and the transformation witnessed. Thank you all.